I got a ton and ton and ton of requests when I did my what I got for Christmas and kind of my uh, my vlogmas um, showing kind of what I got. Uh, I got a ton and ton and ton of requests to do a video on my 3DS. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about this today. Um, this is the Nintendo 3DS XL, the pink one. Uh, my mom actually found this at Toys R Us, in case you guys were curious on where to find the pink one. My mom found it at Toys R Us, um, and I have seen them on eBay, uh, but it just looks like this. Mine, I put a decal over it, like a My Little Pony decal, and then I put a hard case over so it wouldn't peel up or anything. So it's just like one of those decal skins that you just put on, and it could like peel up on the corners, and I didn't want it to get ruined, so I put a clear hard case on over that, so you can kind of see it poking up on the sides right here. Um, and then I just have these little My Little Pony charms hanging down off the little wrist strap thing. Uh, but anyway, um, I guess I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about it. Uh, overall, it's a great little gaming device. Uh, the battery on this thing lasts pretty long. Um, I found that it lasts about, with playing it a while, like playing it like two or three hours tops, it lasts me probably two days, the battery does. Like, um like in two or three hour increments, like, I don't know, maybe like three, four hours a day. So eight hours total, I would say, is battery life, maybe. It all depends on what you're doing on it. If you're just playing games that don't take up the internet and stuff, this can hook up to Wi-Fi. Um, you can browse the internet on it. Um, you can connect with your friends and stuff if you have like a friend code. I will not be giving mine out, but I do add like personal friends and family and stuff. So, um, uh, as for games, the one I currently have in right now is the Nintendo DS Squinkies. Uh, my niece let me borrow a few games, but, um, that's one of them. So I was just like testing that one out and playing with it. Um, I am the type of person who likes games that are cute, girly, fun, simple, and just kawaii? Kawaii? People always say I say kawaii wrong, like kawaii, like kawaii, and I'm supposed to say kawaii instead of kawaii. I just say it so fast that it just comes out as kawaii. I don't even really think about it. Kawaii. I love kawaii games, um, and just very cute little, you know, pastel, fun, girly, just all that fun stuff. So, the games I actually have. I downloaded Animal Crossing New Leaf on the actual device itself through the store, and uh, so it's on there on my actual device, on my SD card, rather than an actual pull-out game, which I find is a little bit easier because then I can have kind of two games or three games going at once. If you download them from the store, it saves them onto your SD card that you have plugged in over here somewhere, whereas you don't have to keep putting the game in and out, in and out, in and out. So I can have a game in here while still having my Animal Crossing on the actual device in the SD card itself. So I can kind of bounce back and forth between games if I want to run two during the same day or during the same trip or whatever. Um, but the games that I have are, like I said, Animal Crossing. And then the two that I got for my for Christmas, not my birthday, for Christmas, I got the Pokemon Art Academy. This one is fun if you're like just now, just new to drawing, like digital art, um, and if you like Pokemon. This one is really cute. Um, it's really, really, really simple at first for me though because I'm used to doing the digital art. Um, so I know like the techniques and stuff. So kind of going through the first couple tutorials, I was like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, I know what you're talking about. So I was just like trying to hurry up and skip through the stuff I already knew. Um, but I haven't gone too far with this one. I've only drawn like two or three uh, Pokemon characters. Um, and the other one is the Pinkie Pie's Party for Nintendo DS. And yes, the Nintendo DS games work in the 3DS's. Um, so, that's a positive. So I can play all the old Nintendo DS's, just like an Xbox. You know, you can play all the Xbox games on an Xbox 360. Um, so, yes. Um, I beat this game the second day I had it. Like, it's really, really simple. It's really easy. But it's super cute, and it's ponies. So I absolutely love it so much. Um, let's see. And then I got these three games I actually scored on eBay. Um, the, this game right here 
It's called Style Savvy Trendsetters. It sells for about $40 on the Nintendo shop, the Nintendo store where I bought An Animal Crossing. It, it sells for about $40. So me being the person that I am, I got on eBay and I managed to score all three of these games, gently used, gen gently used. Um, I got the Style Savvy, the first Style Savvy for Nintendo DS, and a Nintendogs for only $25. So, yeah! Um, <laughs> I was so excited about that because I had downloaded the demo, the free demo, of Style Savvy Trendsetters, and I fell in love with it because you can dress up your your avatar, your character, you can dress them up, you can run your own boutique, you can style other characters, you can do hairstyles, do makeup, you know, kind of just a really fun girly game and it's just adorable and I love it and they have such cute like Lolita outfits and I've really been big into the Lolita fashion lately. Like, I, it just amazes me and it's so cute and I have some Lolita products coming in the mail to me which should be here soon. I'm very excited for them. But, uh, it's very cute, and you can have, like, little handbags and dress your character and do, like, it's, it's just really cute. I highly recommend this one for anyone who is girly and likes to dress up characters like me. However, don't buy it directly from the Nintendo shop. Look on eBay first, because 9 times out of 10, you can fire, find it for cheaper, gently used. Um, and check Craigslist, too, in your local area. Just be safe with that and meet up in a public place. <laughs> um... And then the first Style Savvy, I haven't tried this one out yet, but it's essential. I think it's pretty much just the same thing, only it's set up a little bit differently, and there's different outfits, but that one came with it too, so I was excited. I was just excited to get the one game, so the other two were like a bonus. Um, and then this Nintendo Dogs and Cats, this is the Toy Poodle and New Friends Plus Cats. And the Nintendo Dogs is kind of cute. Um, I haven't found it too exciting. I mean, I, I enjoy it. I think it's adorable. I think the little like, dogs like jumping on the screen and licking it are just like the cutest thing ever and it makes me want to like pull it out of the screen and like hold it and cuddle it. <laughs> but I... Oh, that was cool. Okay, so apparently you can have more pets. Uh, basically when I started it out, I, I started it out with two dogs and you can go through and do like these little frisbee toss games and you can bathe them and give them toys and feed them and pet them and love them and care for them just like you would a real pet except it's kind of so i guess this would be perfect for someone who maybe lives in an apartment or has very strict parents and is not allowed to have a dog or a cat or a pet. Nintendo Dogs is awesome because you can kind of care for your own pet without having to deal with the actual physical creature. I mean, you can even take them on a walk to go potty on this game. Like, it's so cute. Uh, but if you, um, <laughs> but if you are into something like that, I highly recommend the Nintendo Dogs. They're very cute. And the 3D, if you have a 3DS, oh, they're so cute when they get up there and they slobber all over the screen. It is like the cutest thing ever. It makes you just want to like pet it, like physically pet the creature. <laughs> and I forgot to tell you guys that I actually also downloaded Colors 3D, which is a drawing app or a painting app. Um, it's basically for digital art. So if you want to do digital art and stuff, I believe that one cost about five or six dollars. Um, so it was, it was fairly cheap for what it is. I mean, it's pretty much the same amount as Procreate was for my iPad. Um, and that's what I used to do my digital drawings on. Um, my digital drawings. Uh, so yeah, I also have Colors 3D on here. And it's just like a drawing app where you use your little stylus. And the stylus is on the side. And you can kind of just like draw. Um, I will open this up real quick and show you guys. There is, I have Animal Crossing going right now and turn the volume down. Um, but here's like my little girl on Animal Crossing. Uh, but you use these little buttons to do your actions and then these two over here is how you like move around and walk and stuff. You know, just like a regular gaming system. Your speakers are up here and you have a front camera and a back camera. However, the camera quality sucks. I'm not gonna lie. The camera quality sucks, but that's obviously not what this device is really actually made for. It's made for gaming and playing different games. So the camera, I don't really care that the camera's not that great quality, um, because I'm not taking pictures on this. You know, I have my phone to take pictures on, I have my camera to take pictures on, so I don't really 
even use or need the camera on this. But, and then you have your little start, home, select buttons down at the bottom, and you just kind of play like this. And then you can use your stylus to kind of touch on the screen down here. And unfortunately, you, you don't touch on the screen up here. Um, but you do all your touching down here. You can also use your finger. Um, and I did invest in some really cheap uh, screen protectors so I wouldn't scratch up the actual screen with the stylus. So I have two screen protectors on here. I got them in a two-pack on eBay for like $3. So fairly cheap there as well. Um, but yeah, there is the Nintendo 3DS XL in pink. Uh, sorry, you couldn't really see the front because it's covered. But I guess I don't think I did take a photo of it without the cover on it. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it kind of answered some of your guys' questions. There were a ton of questions um, and those range, the 3DS's range, um, depending on what color you get, etc. They range from, you can pick them up used on Craigslist for like 100 bucks, but if you get them brand new, they range from like... I don't know, 150 to 300. Just all depending on what color you get, where you get it, etc. So just a rough guesstimate. Um, they're roughly around there. Um, I think this one was around 200. So just for you guys to be aware of how much they cost, roughly. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it answered questions and I've already said this before, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!